How's it going everyone? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. Today I've decided to jump into the world of essences a little bit more and I'm going to do a bracket, a, a knockout challenge between all of these to see which I prefer and which I like the most. Now they're all American whiskies, that's about as close as the grouping gets. They're all uh, Bourbon, Tennessee, Kentucky uh, whiskies, those sorts of things. But anyway, let's get stuck right in guys and see which one comes out on top. Welcome to Still It, I'm Jesse and this is the channel all about chasing the craft of home distillation and making it a legitimate hobby. So if that's what you're into guys, if you like making your own spirits or if you want to get into making your own spirits, this is the channel for you. Make sure you subscribe down below. I put content out every single week. Make sure you don't miss anything. All right guys, so for quite a while now, I've been wondering um, you know, just how bad or just how good these essences are, whether or not they're worth using. <clears throat> I kind of wanted to focus on making things myself first before I really got stuck into them and have somewhat of an idea uh, of the process and how you make things. But that being said, guys, I really am very curious about these things here. <laughs> So, here's the plan guys, I've got 8 glasses lined up here, I've got 25 mils in each glass, each one of them is 40% ABV, I kept the ABV low, um, you know, so I could let the, the, the flavour shine through a little bit more. I've made them up exactly as the instructions on the bottles or the packets say to make them up, and as you can tell, each glass is, uh, is numbered. So what I've done is I've blinded myself, I've got Wifey to help me out. I've got numbers here and I've got a bracket to follow, but I do not know, um, you know, for example, which number this bottle is. So the idea is guys, I'm just going to go through the bracket, one whiskey versus one whiskey, one comes out victorious and goes on to uh, fight against the next one until we finally figure out which one I prefer. So a really quick disclaimer about tasting and preferences guys the best drink is the one that you like the most so while i'm going to give you my opinion please 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 do not take it to say that i am saying that one is empirically better than the other and do not get all butt hurt if uh, if i say the one that you really like i dislike so here's the full bracket guys i do not know which number is which spirit but i'll show it here on the screen so you guys can follow along number seven this Number four. That's not horrible. A touch of vanilla, a touch of general sweetness, and maybe some cherry? Hmm, it's not really cherry. I'm not sure how, what to describe that as. Anyway, I won't get too bogged down right now. Let's try number four. Oh, no. No, no, no. That is like a mix between cola and cough syrup. It's Cherry Coke, that's what it tastes like. Cherry Coke or Dr. Pepper, but more cough syrup like. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> All right, let's taste it and see uh, see if they're any better. Hmm. Okay, so um, not a whole lot going on there. I don't get a lot of oak out of it, to be honest. Uh, I do get, tastes like a sour mash one actually, like it tastes a, a little sour. Char, spicy oak, not so much the, not so much the wood shop raw oak that you get in a lot of bourbon, especially. Oh man, I don't know if I really want to taste this. Okay, it's not, it's not as bad as the nose is, but it still it definitely has that horribly, horribly fake, um, yeah, cough syrup flavour to it. I don't know what flavour that is, I guess it's, uh, like fake cherry? I think a lot of old school cough syrups were cherry flavoured. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, hands down, I don't need to do anything more here. Four is out. <laughs> and seven is victorious there. So let's uh, start a winner's stash over here on my right and move on to the second bracket, which is two verse eight. Let's go with two first. Hmm. On the nose, it is, it doesn't have that full on, um, you know, fake colory flavor like the last one but it still has a weird fake ester um like cheap lolly <clears throat> type thing going on it's just more floral a touch more caramelly than the last one oh okay 
I like this one. This one's actually quite similar to the UJSM, to be honest. This one's actually, um, this one's actually kind of similar to the UJSSM. It's got a chill sour mash thing going on, I think. Uh, vanilla. A little bit more wood in this one than any previously. So, by scent, eight hands down beats two. And um, let me taste eight first, because, yeah, I'm a little scared of two. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's actually quite pleasant. More wood than the last ones. A little bit more vanilla. Not so much on the cherry. Definitely more on the corn than anything so far. That's that's pleasant enough. All right, let's try two. Once again, I'm a little, yeah, <laughs> a little scared of this. No, no. Oh yuck! I can't put my finger on what that flavour is, but it's just fake. It just if you had a a um if you had a whiskey starburst, that would be it. That's out, man. No, 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 no. Congratulations, eight. You're through. <laughs> Alright team, let's head over to the other side of the bracket now, and number one is going up against number five. So, number five first. Oh man, it's still got that... This one's more like fake, estery, fake, cherry thing going on. Hmm. Yeah, that's not my jam. Hmm. Number one is more fruit and spice, but not fake fruit and spice, like real fruit and spice. But but a little bit too much, maybe for a, a bourbon or a whiskey for me. Almost like a, um, it's nice, it's really pleasant, but it's, it's almost more like a spiced bourbon, I guess. Yeah, like cinnamon forward for me. Hmm. Alright. So once again, guys, I think there's a pretty clear winner here. But um, let's have a taste just to make sure. So this is the third one so far that I'm getting sort of that fake estuary thing off. But out of the three, it is by far the least offensive on the palate. It's still got it on the nose, but not so much on the palate. So, mmm. Okay, that has a really nice um, barrel char kind of thing going on. Let me get out of the way. I feel like I'm still smelling that when I taste it. And the cinnamon and fruit is not as pronounced on the tongue as it is um, on the aroma for me. So once again, uh, the fake fruity flavors lose, but not they don't lose as hard as the, the other two, I guess. Uh, number one moves through. All right, so the only two left are six and three. Well, yeah, it's like really sweet on the nose. Um, perfumey, I guess. And fake again. Wow, that's really weird how some of them have a, you know, like a real fake ester flavor to them. Hmm. This one doesn't have the fake fruit thing going on. Doesn't have the fake perfume or cherry like the others. A hint of it, maybe? Definitely more enjoyable than that on the nose, though. Oh, wow. That is super, super similar to UJSSM. Huh. Interesting. That's not bad, actually. Definitely beats the pants off this, whatever it is. Alright guys, it is now the semi-final of the Bourbon Battle Royale. Uh, what have we got? We've got uh, 7 versus 8. So, 8 and 7. Oh, that's convenient. Sweet. Like, a little bit of sweet. A little bit of barreliness. A little vanilla. And some corn. Plenty of corn coming through on the taste as well. And number 8. Oh, okay. Very similar to this, but it's got a um, an interesting sour mash thing going on. Yeah, okay, that's much more like um, commercial bourbons that I've had, in my opinion. Yeah, totally. Okay, so this is corn, sweet, vanilla, and some barrel char. This is corn, but it's got that butterscotch thing going on. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, way more butterscotch. Okay, this is tight guys, this is, um, they're quite similar actually, they're really similar. Uh, but I definitely have to say that I'm going with number 8 because of that butterscotch thing. Um, that to me is much more like commercial bourbon, something that I would enjoy off the shelf. And to be honest, I think my UJ SSM kind of sits in between the two, but I think I've got more of the sweet wood stuff going on. 
So, sorry to say, number seven, you served us well, but uh, eight. <laughs> Eight's going on to the final. Alright, one versus six. So another nose of one. Yeah, okay, so this is the one, um, yeah, this is the one I was talking about before that has the the fruity thing going on. It's almost apple pie-ish, actually. A hint of red apple? A hint of red apple and lots of spice going on. So cinnamon, clove, vanilla. Um, yeah, it smells like really nice baking and it doesn't smell fake, which is nice. Uh, number six though. Number six is actually sweeter, I think, in my opinion. And it has just a hint of fake sweetness to it. Yeah. Okay guys, so here's the deal. I'm going to go with uh, number one. And I'm going with number one, even though I think number six is more representative of a whiskey that I prefer. Um, I'd rather not have, you know, this much spice in it. But the reason I'm going with number one is that even though the spice and the, um, the sweet is kind of a little off-center for whiskey for me, heading towards, you know, like a flavored whiskey or a spiced whiskey, it tastes more natural. Uh, number six is a better profile of flavors for me, but there's just, there's something in there that makes me think this is an essence uh, and not a real, you know, a, a real whiskey. So, sorry number six, you did very well, uh, but um, yeah, you're not going to make it. <laughs> Before we taste off between one and eight, which is the final, what I want to do is taste off between, uh, what is it, six and seven to um, see what third place and fourth place is. So there's more corn flavor in seven and there's more sweet corn flavor in six and i don't mean you know sweet corn as in sweet corn i mean sweet as in um once again i guess just maybe that's what it is maybe it's the slightly sweet corn flavor that's a little bit off in terms of um just tastes a little fake to me i think that's what it is but it's pretty damn good to be honest it's not bad at all um anyway guys i'm gonna go with uh i'm gonna go with seven because once again, there's just something in there that makes me think that that's fake on uh, six. And I can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, number seven. Yeah. It doesn't have a great, like, amazing profile, but it just, it, it tastes more real to me. So six takes fourth place, seven takes, seven takes third place, and now we're down to the final. But before we get on to the final round, I need to say a huge, huge thank you to the Stillet Patreons. These are the people that literally, literally let me do a video like this. There's no way that I'd just go out and spend, I don't know what it was, $50, $70 on uh, these little bottles that are, you know, I don't have a huge interest in using personally. Uh, so without them, there's no way videos like this would happen. Thanks a bunch, guys. I've got no idea what these are, but you guys certainly do. So um, I hope I'm not making a fool of myself right now. Not to be honest that I know anything about these things. Oh, I just clicked guys. I think I do know what that is. I think that is the duck distilling essence. Hmm. So the reason I say that is I did a video a little while ago testing uh, duck distilling essence versus UJSSM. My UJSSM, you can check the video out up here. I just had a memory rush back of that, uh, that sweet sort of baking profile thing going on, apple and spice. Uh, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure though, I couldn't be certain. This to me, well, yeah, hmm. This to me just has more of a real sour mash thing going on. It's got that slightly zangy butterscotch thing that uh, really gets into your nose and gets stuck in. Definitely has a little vanilla. Doesn't have a whole lot of wood though. Actually, none of these have a whole lot of wood, which is odd to me. They've got char, like sort of charwood flavors, but none of that big chewy American oak flavor that um, you get in that you get in like Woodford Reserve or Maker's Mark or something like that. Mm. Okay, so on the nose, I have to go with eight over one. I think this is starting to get into preference for me now. They're both about as you know realistic as each other. It's just that I much prefer the sour mash butterscotch over the sort of spiced notes. Yeah. Yep, I'm going with eight for the nose, and let's have a taste. I'm not getting much of that butterscotch now. I can't remember. Did I say I had got it before? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, but I do get sort of barrel char, quite a lot of barrel char, a little sweetness. 
It feels a little bit one-dimensional, to be honest. Mm, yeah, this has more going on. It's a more round, full flavor to me. But once again, there's just that that spice thing that I'm not so hot on. As a, as a preference, not as a, um, you know, there's necessarily anything wrong with it, I don't think. So I stand by these two choices, guys, and I feel like this represents a more true commercial sour mashed bourbon, something like that. Uh, and this is kind of like a really nice, uh, faintly spiced bourbon. Both of which, to be honest, are pretty good. You know what, guys? I'm going to have to go with number eight. And the reason I say that is as I sit here, I get the uh, lingering cinnamon flavor sitting on my tongue from this that does not make me really want to go in and drink a whole lot more. It's not, um, it's not Moorish. It doesn't invite me back to drink more, which that's kind of my, um, my thing with any, any drink, whether it be soda, beer, wine, spirits, anything. I want, I want it to be Moorish and that I want to go back and have more of it. That, that makes me think it's um, an amazing drink. That's just me personally. But I also prefer this sort of flavor profile over this flavor profile. If I was being objective and I was trying to take my personal preference out of it, which, whatever, I don't think there's any point in really doing that. Um, it would be closer, but I'd probably still just go with eight. So there you have it, guys. The winner of the very first Stillet Bourbon Essence Battle Royale is number eight. I may as well check. Number eight is... Oh, okay. So it is this one. The Tennessee Bourbon by Still Spirits. Interesting. Part of me wanted still spirits to um, place really badly. I don't know why. <laughs> but I'm not surprised, to be honest. Uh, and, and I did actually kind of enjoy that. Number, uh, what was it? Number one was duck distilling. Yep. Okay, cool. I did have that right. All right, team. So I've actually just gone back and had a little sniff of everything again uh, for the bottom four. I already know my placings for the top four. But I've just rearranged things a little bit down this end, sort of from um, worst to least worst <laughs> honestly at this end seems to be a pretty hard divide right here um, between fake and not fake which is really interesting but uh, absolute bottom of the rung for me was uh, number two the Tennessee bourbon by gold medal just yeah enough said so I am very interested to see still spirits stacked at this end and uh, the these two brands sitting way down here as well um, that's really, really interesting to me. So anyway, let's clear the decks of this tripe. Wash these glasses out really well uh, and taste test my UJSSM and also some, what have I got? Some Woodford Reserve uh, against the, especially these top two and see what I think. All right, the UJSSM. Oh, that's gotten better since I last tasted it actually. This is just starting to get some of that sap, not sappy, but the, um, the, the wood shop, um, sawdusty kind of American oak flavors that I absolutely love in bourbon. It's just starting to get some of that now. <clears throat> After tasting that and smelling that, going back to this, the, um, the one that I placed, uh, yeah, the one that I placed first, just smells sweet. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, let's try the uh, the Woodford Reserve. Yep. Okay, straight off the bat, this has three to four times the amount of that wood character that I was trying to explain before. It appears so nice with that butterscotch thing going on. Bleeds over into kind of cherry and vanilla. And even better. Even better as far as flavor goes. Okay, I would leave it just like that, guys. That was the order I would put it in. So I think my UJSSM is better than any of the essences, but I think the uh, Woodford Reserve is head and shoulders above my UJSSM. Now, my UJSSM is not quite a year old yet, so I give it another couple of years, and maybe it might give the Woodford Reserve a run for its money. So, there you have it, team. Like I said, please do not take offense if, uh, if I've said that uh, something you love is crap. If you love it, Keep on making it and keep on enjoying it. Make sure you let me know down in the comments below. I would uh, love to hear how our tastes differ. If you agree with uh, what I've picked here, also let me know. Or if you think that I have missed something special, if you've got a favorite, if you think that you know an essence that is uh, really nice, let me know. 
Now, obviously, guys, what I haven't done here is uh, aged any of these essences. They've only been sitting here for 24 hours mixed up. All right, team, anyway, I've had an absolute blast tasting all of these spirits, and uh, I'm feeling just a little bit merry right now. So it's a good time to log out. I hope you've enjoyed the video too. I hope maybe you've got some ideas from this or decided what you're going to go after in the future. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really liked the video and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe down below right now. And if you want to help the channel out and you don't know how to do it, there's a couple of things you can do. Number one, share this video with anyone else that you think may enjoy it. That would be really, really awesome. Uh, number two, check out the merch down below. There's uh, either a bar coming up under these videos for you, or if that's not there, there will be a link in the description. And number three, if you really, really want to help the channel out, go and check the Stella Patreon page out and uh, see what that's all about. In any case, guys, keep on chasing the craft, and I'll catch you next time. See ya.